Boy, did we have some rain. Check out Newton up over an inch. Grinnell had three quarters of an inch. Perry and Boone on either side of that. So yeah, quite busy in the tipping buckets and we're going to continue to see that. We kind of have all the action in Iowa, but it is since moving off into the east and into Illinois. It's their problem this afternoon, but the clouds are going to stay heavy across the state of Iowa. And here's the sky cam. Eh, the proof is in the picture. The clouds are hanging pretty low this afternoon. Temperature of 44. Winds are pretty light. They're going to stay pretty light and and uh, we're going to see that feels like temperature just kind of hanging around the actual temperature because of that. Cam temperatures currently still some 30s up off to the northeast, 40s for everyone else. Eventually we'll get into those low 50s. Notice these winds generally out of the southern direction, so they are out of the warmer direction. But they will stay pretty calm and enjoy it because the winds are going to start kicking up tomorrow and really kick up by Friday. Taking a look at the afternoon, low 50s will be the highs uh, this afternoon. We are going to see the damp conditions continue continue the cloudy conditions as well. And then as we go through the overnight hours, some scattered showers are going to occur. So they are going to be severe tonight and tomorrow morning. There's going to be another round of storms moving through, not expecting them to be severe, but they could be strong with some heavy rainfall. Then we're expecting a third round coming through tomorrow evening. Some of those could be severe. And then Thursday night snow, northern Iowa. The heaviest is expected to be in northwest Iowa, two to four inches possible. A lot of that will melt because the ground temperatures are so warm and then we're going to have flash breeze conditions with temperatures in the central Iowa area dropping 40 degrees between the high on Thursday afternoon and the low on Friday morning. So here's a look at those clouds, a brief break, some scattered showers overnight. Then it will increase intensity as we head towards sunrise tomorrow along that western border. This will push eastward into the northeast, so do plan on hearing some thunder to rumble tomorrow. And then we're going to be watching south southern Iowa, southeastern Iowa looks like the target right now. We're going to see how much clearing they can get. If they do get clearing, that's enough energy to fire off some more storms. We'll be watching these storms tomorrow evening. Some of these could pop severe with hail and damaging winds. And then on the back side of this is the snow. It stays mainly in northwest Iowa, stretches mainly Omaha up through Mason City before it all just kind of moves on out. And then we'll see clearing skies on the day Friday. Highs in the 20s and 30s. Here's a look at what the SPC says for tomorrow. A slight risk with the large hail winds and tornadoes all on the table. As far as additional rainfall totals, you get under one of those stronger storms easily. You could pick up another inch. If you just see the steady rainfall easily, another one to two is still possible. And the snow again, Northwest Iowa is going to see the heavier totals two to four. A lot of that will be melting. It won't stick around. Not a lot of shoveling you'll have to do. So cloudy and damp, but dry this afternoon. 54 degrees for that afternoon high. Tonight, temperatures back off into, barely back off, I should say, into the 40s, 49. Not much of a, pretty steady temperatures overnight. Pretty mild compared to average. Eight-day forecast shows the severe storms tomorrow. Windy, drier conditions for Friday and Saturday. Sunday will dry things out. We'll keep temperatures in the 40s.